this is the reality. Anyone that you're around, the moment that you throw your Santa sack down, you open Pandora's box, whatever, usually we trade toys. That's why you Santa sack, right? Because it's like, okay, I'm in a relationship with you. I'm going to throw my Santa sack down. You're going to throw your Santa sack down. I'm going to take this teddy bear. I'm going to give you this train. And sometimes we decide to take more than we give. And so what happens is we burden the other person with things because in this scenario, you're actually giving up your traumas to somebody else as a trade. Right. But then, right. Usually in a relationship, it's an unbalanced thing because a yeah. relationship is not really designed to succeed. This is something that most people never get. But this is the truth. Relationships don't succeed because they're built on the past. Connections do because they're built in the present and they can evolve. But when you're past thinking, you're using your subconscious mind to create reality, you're almost always going to fail. It's a setup for failure. And the biggest problem is that we throw our sand and sack down hoping somebody will take our toys. And that's never going to work because if they take our toys, they leave a hole. And that hole in our sack is going to get filled by a bigger toy because that's the law of the vacuum. That's how it works. So the thing about when we go into that healing crisis, and this is one of the most powerful things that you, you very well explained, is the fear is real. Everybody comes up with every reason why you shouldn't. But yeah. then you are like, but if I don't, I won't know who I am. And I know this is my choice now. And if I don't make this choice, I have to live with not making this choice. And, that's and that costs me more. Exactly. Yes. That costs me more because I'm aware that I'm not doing it. Right. Said, and that's, that's when we recognize in authenticity, right? That's when yeah. we're like, because it's, it's like the moment that you see it, you can't unsee it. The moment yeah. you know it, you can't unknow it. So then now we're completely out of alignment with really who our true authentic self is. And, you know, and, and I know this as I'm speaking, because I remember it going, I was so anxious all the time. And it was because I was totally unaligned. I was so unaligned that the words I was saying were not even at the frequency of really truly who I was. And I just wanted to get rid of it. I'm like, I can't get, this has got to go. All of this has got to go. So I was so ready and willing. And I think that when, when someone's very willing and ready to let it go and to, to know that that could be a, that that's my messy pile. That's your messy pile. How do we clean up our piles? That's what my husband and I did. We're like, okay, look, my husband's dad, you know, passed away when he was 16 years old of AIDS. And it was probably one of the hardest times of his life because here he is, he was 12 years old. They live in a town of 2000 people and they were the swans who owned the first variety store before Walmart, like the swan Uh, family, right? So the swan family had this mask on that they're this perfect family. And all of a sudden Tom Swan is gay. Like, and the swan family is breaking up. And now these boys, my husband's brother and him, his brother went to drugs and so did his sister. And he was young enough to go, I don't want to be that. However, that was so traumatic for them. So when him and I come together, I'm here, I got drug addict father, you know, like abuse and sexual abuse and all this craziness. But we both held our boxes together. We were living, we were literally creating almost like a new life, but it was kind of still built on a house of cards because it wasn't real. So the moment that both of our Pandora's box opened, we're like, okay, we're going to recognize those messes. (laughs) None of us want those toys. Neither (laughs) of us. You can take your toys over here. Let's clean those ones out (laughs) and let me clean mine out. And now let's start with a new bag of toys. And I, I really, truly, like, I know everything happens for a reason at the right time. But man, if we didn't do that, Jason, I don't believe we would be together. Yeah. You know? Well, one person can't open their box and the other one not. Right. It, that's it. Light. And that's what I was trying to, uh, earlier talking about is like, the moment that I illuminate, all the guilt and shame between you and your light is going to illuminate too. And you mm-hmm. have to come up with every reason to get rid of me because yeah. I'm the problem. I now. see it. Yep. Yeah. That's it. If you, yeah. if you aren't willing, you will find a reason to get rid of the light in your life.